question 4 so this reaction is start from compound D 2 bromobutane and it will undergo uh, a few reactions uh, and uh, I roughly discuss with you uh, how the uh, reactions goes okay, reaction 1 so we know that it's formed the CC double bond means uh, it's undergo elimination so the bromine will remove and one of the H here will remove to form this CC double bond means compound E for the reaction 2 when the silver nitrate okay, in ethanol use uh, so this one uh, we know that the bromine will be substituted by OH and after that the silver will form silver bromide the cream precipitate and after that it will undergo reaction 3 so reaction 3 is alkaline iodine Al alkaline iodine is a mild oxidizing agent it will oxidize this alcohol to the ketone this one removed and one of the H here will remove to form this methyl ketone so the methyl ketone form then it will further react with the iodine so to form the iodo form CHI3 okay and organic ion organic ion uh, later we will discuss huh? okay reaction 4 is just a substitution reaction the KCN or the cyanide will substitute the bromine to form the nitrile and after that is undergo reaction 5 so it will add hydrogen this carbon add to hydrogen this nitrogen add to hydrogen form amine now, these are the five reactions that involved okay let's go through one by one okay part a state the reagent condition <clears throat> used to form e in reaction one the e so in order for this uh, two bromo butane to undergo elimination very easy because it's halogenal alkene and it's undergo elimination it must be sodium hydroxide in ethanol this other reagent and of course it must be the condition condition is heat under reflux okay when you put this and heat under reflux substitutions will happen All right sorry elimination will happen elimination huh? okay if sodium hydroxide in water uh, then is a substitution sodium hydroxide in ethanol is elimination uh, this one Okay, draw the structure of one repeat unit of the addition polymer that's formed from E. Very easy. First, okay, from this E, you should know it looks like this. CHCH3, CHCH3. So, after that, this double bond will open up and is form tails. So, you will form this polymer. Okay, one repeat unit means you just need to put this CHCH3 and CHCH3, this one. Remember, tails is important. Okay, part 3. E also form when F is heated strongly with the presence of aluminum oxide. This one is quite obvious, is the dehydration, right? Okay, F is this. Okay, this is the alcohol secondary alcohol so give an equation okay you can give this or you can give the molecular formula so this OH will remove with this H this H and form this alkene CH3 CH CH CH3 
and of course plus H2O it must be H2O okay many many candidates forgot this one okay they just put the alkene or you can just use the molecular formula okay it's fine no problem Okay, now B1, predict what is observed in reaction 2. Okay, reaction 2, I told you already, uh, silver nitrate uh, in ethanol, uh, the reaction 2 here, yeah, silver nitrate in ethanol. So we know that the uh, halog alkane here, this 2 bromobutane, it will undergo the hydrolysis. So the bromine okay, will leave as bromide and bromide will combine with silver ion to form silver bromide so you see cream precipitate okay identify the yellow precipitate and the organic ion this is a challenging part yellow precipitate it shouldn't be any problem okay this is the F compound F so this OH will turn to the methyl ketone. When this compound reacts with this uh, iodine and sodium hydroxide, it will oxidize first. So this hydrogen remove and this hydrogen also remove. So it will form the methyl ketone here. Okay, so once it's formed methyl ketone, it will undergo another process we call halogenation. So here is CH3, all the hydrogen being substituted by the iodine from Ci3. And after that, these compound undergo bond break or hydrolysis. So this carbon get H, this carbon will get OH. So then it will form two compound. It will form this propanoid acid and iodoform. This is the hydrolysis. Okay, when this compound undergo hydrolysis, uh, so it's formed carboxylic acid and iodoform. So here you see iodoform, CHI3. Okay, because it's uh, under alkaline condition, sodium hydroxide is there. When this carboxylic acid or propanoid acid form, it will further react with hydroxide. Okay, it will form this salt, carboxylate salt. Okay, so you can just give the formula CH3, CH2, COO negative, or just put propanoid. Okay, C part one. State the type of reactions that occur in reaction four. Reaction four again. Let's get back to that. Reaction four. Okay, KCN in ethanol with this. So the cyanide substitute the bromine, right? So therefore, the type of reaction is substitution. Okay, part two. Reaction 5 is similar to the reaction of lithium aluminum hydride with carboxylic acid to form alcohol. Okay, suggest the role of lithium aluminum hydride. Very easy. This one is always reducing agent. Right. Okay, so from this IR spectrum, okay, you should know that it has C and triple bond. Okay, because it's around 2200 something. Right, so you can get it from the tables from here. Right, okay. Now, this figure shows infrared spectrum of one of the compound, either is D, E, F, G, H. Uh, then, from this IR spectrum again, we know that it has nitrile group, so confirm it is G. It, is, it has the nitrile group here, right? Okay.
So use information in table 4.1 I told you just now, right? So to identify which of the compound is it? Okay, of course it's compound G. Infrared spectrum shows absorptions at 2200 to 2250, uh, which indicates there is a presence of CN triple bond. Uh, CN triple bond, uh, that's the answers. Okay, in the mass spectrum, predict the relative abundance of the molecular ion peak. Okay, or the relative abundance uh, for molecular ion, the M positive, is 3.4. Spectrum D, uh, D is the two bromo butane. Uh. Predict the relative abundance of M plus 2. Uh, M plus already given, now ask you M plus 2. So we know that in this D, it has one bromine. So the molecular ion, the M, is contributed by the bromine 79. M plus 2 contributed by the uh, 81 bromine. So the relative abundance okay, of the bromine 79 and 81, they are 50-50%. So the ratio is 1 to 1. But you cannot just say because relative abundance of 79-81 bromine is 1 to 1. Uh, you must mention what is the M plus 2 peak first. How it looks like so you should start with this the relative abundance of m plus 2 also 3.4 why because m and m plus 2 must be 50 50 percent right each that's why the relative abundance of m plus 2 also going to be 3.4 since this one is 3.4 the m plus 2 also need to be around 3.4 why because the relative abundance of these 79 bromine and 81 bromine they are one to one uh, that's what you need to explain that's all for this question thank you